Welcome back. We're talking about how to import data from Microsoft Excel into R Studio. It's pretty easy to do. There's a couple of tricky edge cases, like how do you get data from a separate sheet or from a part of a sheet into, into R using your code? It's not difficult. I'm going to walk you through it step by step. We're going to briefly revise uh, CSV files, but that's not difficult. Um, one of the things that I think people struggle with very often, especially if you're new to R, is your working directory. How do you find it? How do you change it? Et cetera, et cetera. So we're going to look at that as well. Uh, the first thing I'm going to tell you is hopefully you've learned by looking at other videos about the Tidyverse. I always start any coding off by loading the Tidyverse set of packages. The Tidyverse is a collection of packages that expands the vocabulary of R. And we're going to use one of the packages that comes with the Tidyverse called Read Excel. Read Excel in this lesson. Now, interestingly, if you've installed the Tidyverse set of packages, Read Excel is on your computer. But unlike a lot of the sort of core Tidyverse packages like ggplot and dplyr, Read Excel isn't automatically loaded when you load the Tidyverse. So you have to call it separately. Okay, so that's just worth mentioning. So we've called the Tidyverse, but we've separately called Read Excel using the library uh, read Excel function. Okay, so that's the, the one thing that isn't obvious to people, so I'm just pointing that out. The next thing is this. I'm going to talk about working directories, right, and, and how to set them, how to find out where, you, where your working directory is. In general, the best practice when you start working in R and you start a project is to create a new project. Don't just create a new uh, R file and start coding away. Create a project. If you start a project in R, it will automatically set your working directory to the file where that project is sitting. Okay, and you, at that point, you don't need to worry about working directories at all, and that is the best practice. However, I know and understand that people don't always work in projects, so let's just deal with this working directory issue uh, sort of once and for all. If you want to know what your current working directory is, uh, you can click on Get Working Directory, Control Enter, and it says here that my working directory is at User Greg Martin Documents. Well, that might not be where we want to work. Okay, our data is sitting somewhere else. You can see here I've got a, a, a folder called YouTube Channel, and I can click on that. There's some data inside there, and that's really where I want to be. Now, there's a couple of things you can do here. You could just go in here and say, Set this as my working directory. And if I click on that, it's going to provide set, blah, 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 and it's going to set that as the working directory. It is better practice if you're wanting repro re rep reproducible code. In other words, you want your code that you can, is to set the working directory yourself, and that's pretty easy to do. You